So good morning, and I'm very happy to see all these names, familiar and unfamiliar. Paul and Claire, hi, Barbara, and LH from Iran, and Rohana, Mary-Kate. I wonder if you can hear my sound. And um, uh, could someone confirm that? Great, it's wonderful that you can all hear, and, uh, and I'm very glad to uh, be here with you, and I will be back in a few minutes to start. Thank you. So, <clears throat> good Monday morning, everyone, and welcome to our sitting, and and uh, very appreciative, grateful, inspired to uh, come down and sit at IMC with so many of you here online, and uh, it's quite special to see uh, so many familiar names that we get to be together, and some of you I haven't seen for quite a while, and and uh, but to have this contact uh, is pretty nice, and I'm very happy for it. And I'm also happy to see the names that are repeating that uh, seem to have started here now with this uh, online sitting and new people. And so it feels pretty wonderful. And I hope that uh, uh, all of you who are participating also feel the the uh, the richness and the. Uh, Heartfeltness, heartfeltness of this wide network now who are participating in these uh, sittings. So here we are. And um, <clears throat> so the, the theme for these uh, this week, uh, for the Dharmet especially, is uh, Samadhi. And uh, Samadhi is really one of the deep heart qualities of the Dharma. And uh, it's a way of really coming home here to oneself. A lot of what the samadhi entails, a good part of it is letting go. But to just say letting go is not enough. Uh, it's, I think it's helpful to think of it as a letting go into something. And um, so what that something is, is what we discover through the Dharma, through practice. And um, certainly we can let go into the present moment, let go into awareness of what's here, let go into our direct immediate experience. We can also let go into the goodness uh, of practice, let go into the goodness of breathing, of being embodied, being here. There's many things we let go into. Uh, sometimes when I get a migraine, 
I'll practice letting go into the pain. And I find that uh, letting go into the pain is uh, what I have. This, I have a little, I need to kind of be in a quiet place, be my, by myself to do this. But that um, uh, then uh, there's a whole different relationship to the pain. And sometimes it doesn't even become pain anymore. And, um, or it doesn't become so difficult. So the idea of letting go into, and uh, letting going into so that there is a stable presence of involvement, resting in experience, samadhi. So to sit upright or to meditate in a posture that is appropriate for you and you believe at this point supports you in being present And to take a little time to roam around your body and to see where you can make small adjustments so that your body is a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more easier for the body to settle. And the small adjustments that makes your body a little bit more comfortable place for your awareness to rest in. And you might also, as you're doing this, to see if there's places in your body that you can relax. Relaxing is a relative of letting go softening, relaxing from the top of your head, forehead and eyes, the area around your mouth and your jaws. Maybe all around your neck and how your neck holds your head. Softening, relaxing the shoulders. And as we go through the rest of the body, to let the gentle pull of gravity help you settle, stable here. Relaxing the arms, softening the arms. Releasing the elbows from any tension. And releasing the hands in any ways in which the hands are a little bit tight or held. And softening in the rib cage, center of your chest. As you exhale, maybe also relaxing the back rib cage. Perhaps it's possible to soften the diaphragm. And then softening the belly, soft belly sitting here. And softening the hip joints, the area of your, where you're sitting, seated. And as you exhale, softening down the legs. The thighs, especially the top of the thighs. your lower legs, 
and all the way down to your feet. Maybe there's a way of relaxing, softening the feet that the toes hang more freely off the ends of the feet. And then to release, soften, relax the whole body. A releasing of the whole body from how you might be bracing yourself or anticipating something. So that as you let go, relax the whole body, it might settle more fully into this time and place. Or perhaps the body has a sense of ever so slightly dissolving outwards where the boundaries of the body become more diffuse with the space around you. Perhaps you can relax and settle the thinking muscle, any tension or pressure in the head or in the area where you associate your thinking. Softening the mind. Relaxing the mind as you exhale. And then letting go into your breathing. Letting go into the body, breathing itself. Letting go into the breathing. So breathing is at the center of all things. So that as you let go into the breathing, the breathing becomes the center. Centering yourself on your breathing. Breathing in and breathing out.
with breathing at the center as if everything begins and ends with breathing. Beginning with the inhale, everything begins. Ending with the exhale, everything ends. Especially as you exhale, let go of your thoughts. As you center yourself, let go into breathing, the body breathing.
go into this moment breathing. Letting go into whatever subtleness or stability that's here for you. And then in the last minute or so of this sitting, as you exhale, see if you can relax into any sense of stability that's here. Stability in your body, stability in your mind, and perhaps some 
meaningful stability in your heart. A stability that allows you to stay present with the experience of the day without being swayed by them or caught up in them or pushed around. So feeling stability inside of you, however small it might be. And then consider how this stability can support you in this day. And how being in contact with some inner stability, how it allows you to have a more caring, loving, friendly attitude that you carry with you into the day. So that any ways that you think about others, any ways you might be talking to others, any ways that you might be seeing other people, that you touch into your inner stability. And from there, bring forth your kindness. your goodwill, your care. So that from this meditation practice, we bring forth an aspiration and a wish and a practice for the welfare and happiness and safety of all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings have their basic needs satisfied. May all beings know that others care. So good morning again, and uh, this is the morning of the fourth week, where each week I'm talking about one of the five faculties, and the first three were faith, effort, and mindfulness, and this week it's uh, talking about samadhi, concentration. And the samadhi, uh, often translated into English as concentration, it's a fine translation, but I think it's uh, the word concentration a little bit limits the full meaning of what samadhi means in, in the practice we do. And samadhi has kind of two basic meanings. One is as a faculty, which is as a particular capacity function of the mind that becomes stronger and is utilized for the purposes of practice or really for anything. And the other uh, a meaning of samadhi is uh, when that faculty is fully engaged and strongly present, then um, we have um, 
uh, samadhi is a state. Uh, a state. I think of it as a state of being. Some people might call it a state of mind. That um, it's an overall kind of uh, uh, state in which we're abiding in or feeling or it's, it's a existing through us, in us. It's kind of what our beingness is. A state of wholeness, a state of integration, a state of deep stability and steadiness, a kind of radiance of presence of, of, uh, that's quite wonderful. To be uh, centered in the state of samadhi uh, is to kind of find a almost like a sacred temple in which we live or exist within. To engage the faculty of samadhi is in the simplest language is to be focused on what we're doing. Um, so to really kind of use our ability to focus and exactly how we focus, there's many different choices of focus and what it might mean. So we have to be a little bit careful not to assume that if, if I use the word focus that I mean exactly what you would use uh, the word for. Uh, for now, I'd like to uh, play a little bit with the English word concentration and, uh, and think of uh, samadhi as a faculty is the ability to become, for the attention, to center itself on something. So rather than focusing on something, it centers itself on something. And the difference is that for some people, focusing is a constricting. Focusing is a straining to kind of really look or be present. Whereas centering ourselves, um, at least in my use of the word, I imply the idea that we're resting in something or we're abiding in something or we're, 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 we're standing in the middle of something and uh, we're centered in it. And this whole, whole body being sense of t t standing in the middle of some experience, I think middle of something, um, but we are not necessarily have to strain at it um, or f necessarily kind of with kind of mind's eye look at it, but rather uh, we, s we kind of abide in it. We're really present for it in a full way. So this idea of focus or being centered has a lot to do with being um, uh, wholeheartedly engaged in what we're doing at the moment. And if what we're doing is um, using attention, using mindfulness to see what's happening, samadhi brings to mindfulness a sense of wholeheartedness, like just this. Just let's be centered on this right now. So if we're, if we're uh, doing mindfulness of breathing, then as a partner to mindfulness, concentration is this taking mindfulness and really wholeheartedly centering ourselves in the experience. A big part of uh, what goes along with this centering ourselves and experience is letting go. And that was one of the first um, lessons I received when I went uh, studied Buddhism in Thailand. I'm, for the first days I was there, I was staying at a monastery and I met a monk and uh, he was a little bit, um, uh, uh, he was talking about concentration and he said concentration is the, the Concentration is what you, uh, like, like into deep states of concentration, is what is attained by just letting go, just letting go, letting go. And he wanted to differentiate that from mindfulness was with a clear knowing of what the experience is. But for him, uh, any time you just let go thoroughly, you end up uh, in a state of concentration. And a little bit that's because uh, if we, we're really letting go of distractions, letting go of how we get fragmented, how we, the mind goes off in all kinds of directions. And as we let go, there is a kind of letting go into this moment, just here with this. And as we let go into the moment, letting go more and more here, we're kind of like centering ourselves more and more, centering ourselves at the bottom of a bowl as the, as the balls, the marbles kind of get quieter and quieter. They center at the, at the middle, at the center of the bowl. So. So uh, letting go, letting go. So letting go is not the same thing as samadhi, but letting go is one of the means of becoming concentrated in a way that's relaxed, in a way that we're not straining to get concentrated. It's more like we're allowing the mind's capacity to be focused, to arise or to manifest because we're getting rid of all the distractions from it, all the things that interfere with it. 
So there are these two things, uh, aspects of samadhi practice of this faculty that supports it. One is the idea of focusing or being centered on the experience. And the other is to let go of the things that get interfere with that. If we don't let go, then there's a tendency f- to, uh, if people are cultivating samadhi, to uh, want to override the distractive forces by straining more and being stronger and more har- f- focusing, concentrating harder. Certainly concentration factor, this faculty can become stronger over time. And so the strength of it um, makes uh, distractions less and less attractive or less and less an issue. But until the mind is strong, to uh, try to use our strength to get focused and concentrated uh, can often be counterproductive. It can create a lot of strain and tension and a variety of things can go a little bit uh, wrong for people if they're trying too hard. So this idea of relaxing, relaxing and letting go into uh, the breathing, into what we're focusing on. So whatever we're centering ourselves on, sometimes it just means the present moment, uh, we're centering ourselves in the present moment. Uh, we're also letting go of what takes us away. We're relaxing so and relaxing into this moment. So not just relaxing tension, but relaxing into, settling into. And, um, and one of the principles of samadhi, uh, keep in mind, or one of the, is that a mind that has, uh, is concentrated is a soft mind. So uh, the idea is we're moving towards softer and softer or more pliable, ma- more malleable. More, uh, another thing, a uh, mind that's concentrated is bright. It's kind of, there's a lot of clarity and calm in that mind. And so the very means by which we try to get concentrated hopefully would have some of those qualities in it. We do, we'd have softness and malleability and um, calm and brightness or clarity as part of it. This is a lot of ideas to to incorporate all together, but I hope that it gives you a little bit of sense or idea of what is meant by samadhi and concentration and and, um, and that the the beginning process of becoming, of using this faculty and engaging it and becoming concentrated is um, this capacity to be centered on experience. And so there is an initiating step in concentration to center oneself on something and, um, or to focus if you prefer that kind of language and then, um, and then to let go of what gets in the way of it. The mind goes off and we center ourselves again here. And centering is a little bit different than mindfulness and that mindfulness is to know and stay present in a knowing way. Um, concentration is to uh, come back and not necessarily know the experience, but rest in the experience. Um, be centered in the experience that we have. And we do that over and over again. Come back and hopefully every time we come back to being centered, we figure out how to do that. The whole process of coming back, letting go, relaxing, centering, being focused. That whole process, as we initiate the process of getting concentrated, it's important to experiment uh, with uh, how can you do that whole process so you enjoy it? How can you uh, be very forgiving, very allowing? And one of the ways to do that is to have very low expectation uh, that you're getting, going to get concentrated. Have very low, don't try to be fast or hold on or cling. Give yourself lots of time, be very relaxed. Um, I think of the state of concentration when it occurs to me as a gift. And, uh, and so I'm not measuring myself or trying to attain it in a, in a kind of tight way or engineering way to engineer it, making it happen. I do my practice, I get centered, I stay present, and, um, and I let go into the experience more and more. And then with time it becomes, it's a, it, it, certainly there's a state of being settled, concentrated, that occurs, and that feels like a gift, a wonderful gift. So I hope that uh, is a nice kind of an initial kind of a discussion about this faculty of samadhi, and then we'll continue with this over the next four days. And, um, and um, may you find many ways today to find yourself centered 
uh, in your experience, in yourself. And may you enjoy that centering in yourself. Thank you so much, and I look forward to tomorrow. Bye-bye.